What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the shorthand operators. So let's get started. Now, when declaring our variable, right, we uh, assign a variable, we give it a name, and we give it a value. But uh, we can also uh, use this variable, right, we can modify it and then reassign the variable a new value. So I'll, I'll give you an example of that right now. Let's declare a variable, let's declare an integer, and we call this variable red. And we make this variable equal to, let's say, 5, and it with a semicolon, right? So now we declared a variable, we called red, and it's equal to the value of 5. We can also say red, our variable red, is equal to red itself, which has a value of 5, plus, let's say, 1, and end it with a semicolon. So basically, we said variable red, which has a value of 5, we assigned up here. And we said it equals to itself plus 1. So itself has a value of 5 plus 1, and then it, the value of 6 gets reassigned to the variable, right? So this is a long way to write this. There are shorter ways to write this. They're called shorthand operators. And the, the first one I want to show you is uh, it's called addition assignment. So this is basically going to rewrite this in a short way. So we can get rid of this uh, red here, right? And we can get rid of this plus sign symbol here. Get rid of this, and let's back this up a little bit and put a plus in front of this. So it's basically the variable plus equals one. That's the shorter way to write it. So now let's print this on the screen, right? So let's use the system dot out. So I'm gonna type in capital S Y S T E M dot out dot print P R I N T L N open and close parentheses and then with a semicolon in between this open and close parentheses we're going to type in our variable red that we want to print out on the screen so we're going to type in red now let's hit play as you can see it printed out six so let's let's change this back so I'll show you how our original way prints the long way so let's say red equals red plus one right that was a long way to write it. So let's hit play again, and it's gonna print out six again. So again, the, this is a shorter way to write it. It's called a shorthand operator. So we delete this, we add a plus in front of the equal symbol, and it's called addition assignment. So there are other addition assignment operators out there, or sh I'm sorry, there are other shorthand operators out there. Addition assignment is one of them. So the, the second one I'm gonna show you is called subtraction assignment. It's pretty much uh, the same, but it's instead of addition, it's a subtraction. So we add the minus symbol in front of equal, and it'll subtract instead of uh, add this time. So let's hit play see what we get we get a four so it's basically uh, the value of red which has a value of five take away one so th th simple as that and uh, the, the value gets reassigned to the variable red so let's try another one the next one is called multiplication assignment so we replace this minus symbol here with this multiplication symbol or this star symbol here and what it's gonna do it's gonna multiply instead of subtract so let's hit play and it multiplied. So basically, uh, red equals red times one. So basically, five times one is five. So that's how we got that there. So again, this is the shorter way to write it. They're called shorthand operators. And this one's called multiplication assignment. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is called division assignment. And we're going to replace this multiplication symbol here with this forward slash. So now it's going to divide. So let's hit play here. And as you can see, it divided. Now the result is five. So this is basically the variable red equals itself divided by one. And uh, the value of itself is five divided by one is still five. So that's why we got five. So let's try another one. Our final one is called remainder assignment. So we're gonna replace this forward slash with this percent symbol. And it's gonna give us, instead of uh, the division, it's gonna give us if there is a remainder. So let's hit play here. So there's no remainder, so that's why we got a zero. If there was a remainder, it would have printed out the remainder down here. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.